Good morning, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays at 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. Now for the news in details. Keith Duncan, the Private Sector Organization of Jamaica, PSOJ President and Economic Program Oversight Committee, EPOC Co-Chair, has called for the use of rapid and double negative COVID-19 testing on travelers to Jamaica. The more efficient testing processes, he said, could aid in the recovery of the tourism industry that has been hard hit by coronavirus-related entry barriers. Jamaica currently uses the gold standard PCR test, which can take several days or even weeks for results to be known, and which is also more expensive. The government has moved to broaden testing in the island with the introduction of antigen or rapid tests having ordered some 80,000 kits that are expected to arrive in the island sometime this month. But these tests are to be conducted on persons who are symptomatic and at medical facilities. Speaking at a Rotary Club meeting recently, Duncan outlined that Jamaica needs to hit a $74 billion primary surplus target at the end of the current fiscal year, and so needed to find ways to accelerate economic activity and increase government revenue. The Jamaican government has announced that it intends to spend nearly $16 billion more than previously budgeted during the 2020-2021 fiscal year, despite the ravages of the economy brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. The increased amount is contained in the secondary supplementary estimates that were tabled in the House of Representatives on Tuesday by Finance and Public Service Minister Dr. Nigel Clark. It pushes the overall budget to $853.7 billion. Clark acknowledged that the fallout caused by the COVID-19 crisis but highlighted some bright spots, including the fact that the preliminary numbers for the six months ending September 30 show that overall revenues were $8 billion or 3% above what the budgeted was budgeted in the first supplementary estimates. However, revenues were running nearly 19% below the corresponding six-month period in 2019. Pay as you earn, PAY taxation for the first six months of this financial year was 3% higher than the first six months of the last financial year, and Clark noted that preliminary figures show consumption taxes were also up, although they were 14% lower when compared to the same period last year. Meanwhile, regional carrier Caribbean Airlines have been slapped with a multi-million dollar lawsuit by a Guyanese man who was held at the New York's JFK airport with more than four pounds of cocaine in a suitcase in 2018. According to court documents, in October 2018, Simeon Wilson, 50, traveled from Guyana to New York and was held and charged following the discovery of cocaine in his luggage. However, Wilson, who had always maintained his innocent, had all the charges dropped against him ten weeks after his arrest. The documents state that the charges were dropped after the U.S. investigators concluded that his bag was tampered with while in the custody of the airline. Wilson wants Caribbean Airlines to pay him for his ordeal and its lapse of security that allowed the illegal item to be placed into his bag. Finally, Hyatt Hotels Corporation says a Hyatt affiliate has entered into a management agreement with the Indian-based TTS Resource Limited for the first Hyatt-branded hotel in St. Lucia. It said that the 345-room luxury Grand Hyatt Hotel is expected to open in 2023 and signifies Hyatt's continued brand growth into the Caribbean, leading travel destinations. The Grand Hyatt St. Lucia will be located on the southwestern corner of the island in Sunset Bay, Chasol, and will be situated on more than 23,000 square feet. TTS Resorts LT Limited Chief Executive Officer Lashun Cesar Tordrav said it was an honor to share their vision with Hyatt on this project. This result will encompass two hilltops that will command spectacular view of St. Lucia's two famous volcanic spars, Cross Piton and Petit Piton, which were de designated as World Heritage Site and will be less than 30 miles from the hotel. Grand Hyatt St. Lucia follows a significant planned expansion of the Hyatt brand footprint in the Caribbean, including similar hotels in the Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. 
and cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence. Do have a good morning.